had bottled water. I watched the jockey like a hawk. He's so clean, he squeaks. By the way, Dee, who was that woman I saw you with? Somebody I met. You a spy? Keeping an eye on you, you old dog. <laughs> and you too? Well, OK, OK. On my scale, from 1 to 10, she was a solid 9. Not a 10? No. Her purse was too big for her outfit. Oh, purse. <laughs> Is this showtime, Jonas? No. Now, it looks like he's going to go all the way. Watch when he reaches the far turn. Have you any other angles? No squirrels. No plane noise. No flapping pigeons. Nothing moving but the horses. What was that? I used the directional mic. It must have picked something up. Have you got anything else on that? What the hell was that? I don't know. Some kind of audio anomaly. I'll run it through the filter. It might be some natural phenomenon like a sonic boom. Check it out, all right, Jonas? Nothing. Not a welt or an abrasion. The appellate gun would have left a scratch. I'm sorry. Well, something made the horse act weird in the stretch. I have the entire medical history. Nothing significant. If it's not drugs and he's not distracted, what the hell's going on? Did you ever see this before? Well, not this exactly. But I did have one that just flat out refused to go faster than a trot. No medical reason whatsoever. Then why? My best guess? Depression. Oh, come on. Depression? I knew you were going to look at me like that. The horse's emotional problems weren't high on my list of suspects. Hey, animals do have emotional problems. Doc, give me your theory. Anything will help. OK. I think he cracks under pressure. Well, he's fine in practice, but you put him in a race, and something's causing him to lose. You're killing me. You're telling me that he has a fear of success? Well, you can call it whatever you like, but it's clear. He's our boy undergo some kind of emotional transformation that's causing him to break stride. Go. I'm there, Teddy. He owes me money. I want compensation. War over a debt? He's past due. And most of all, I want you out of my face. That is never gonna happen. Can I talk to you a minute? Just you and me, okay? Come on. Let's say one of your guys gets hurt. Now, that means you call for more guys. I have to do the same. Now, once that happens, Thomas dies. Nobody wins. Not Victor. Not you. You have a visitor, Anthony. Nina. Come here. I cut class. Nobody knows that I'm here. Sit down. What can I do for you? My mother told me that my father is not going to fight for me. You have to help me, Mr. Delventura. He's my father. I, I need him in my life. Of course you do. And he wants to be with you. It's just that things get complicated. Nina, you need to know that your father's doing this out of love. He doesn't want to put you in the middle of what's going on. I just don't want to lose my dad. Your father's not going to let that happen. You trust me, OK? Huh? You're not listening to your own daughter. I am listening to her, but you know, why'd she go to you and not to me? She doesn't think you care. Oh, come on, that's nuts. Huh? Don't you know she told me? What? She told me that you taught her nothing is impossible. Dreams are important. And how to ride the rainbow. 
That's what you taught her. And now you're giving up? I ain't giving up, but uh, I'm beginning to think maybe her mother's right. You know, maybe this head is full of holes. You both love your daughter. And Nina's a lot stronger than you think she is. But a 16-year-old needs her father as much as she needs her mother. I understand that, but just let me get rid of this problem first, you know? I'll solve the problem before the court date. But I don't want you giving up. Do you remember that day? This was only a couple of days ago. You were coming down the escalator. I was going up. Yeah, I saw you. I wanted to jump over to your side and follow you forever. You did? Yeah, true. Why didn't you? Did you see me? Yes. You played like you didn't. I know. <laughs> Is that what you often do? No. no. No? You don't do that? No. I didn't think you were that tight. I never do that. But what would have happened if I did jump over and follow you? Would I succeed in the chase? Possibly. Oh. I think so. Maybe. Possibly? Well, that possibly makes it all worthwhile. Yeah? Some people say the chase is everything. <sighs> well, how it can... <sighs> Just what? What? I'm just trying to make sure she treats you right. That's all. Okay. All right. I'm going, okay? Mm -hmm. What side is that? This one. It's the side that says, thank you for being here with me. Well, that's easy to do. You're a surprise, Anthony. For some reason, I really feel safe with you. You should. <laughs> I do. <laughs> sound corny, does it? <laughs> I feel like anything's possible, even a happy ending. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Life is a series of surprises. You dream what seem impossible dreams, but they're only impossible if you won't give them a chance to come true. And that would be A.M. I think Frankie needs some closing up music. Oh, on top of everything else you sing? Yeah, just a little. But I don't play too well. No, oh, well, I can help you with that. I play a little. All the stars out tonight I don't know if it's cloudy or bright Cause I only have eyes for you, dear The moon may be high But I can't see a thing in the sky Cause I only have eyes for you I don't know if we're in a garden Or up a crowded avenue You are here, so am I Maybe millions of people go by but they all disappear from view And I only have eyes 
for you. What do we do for an encore? <laughs> 